Hey, it's me again. I'm back with another made video. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm Katie. This is Loud Creations. And today I'm going to be going over what I did to make three gallons of orange mead. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get to it immediately here so that we can talk about what I'm going to be doing with this when it has run dry. I have my notes. I'm ready to go. Um, so why did I do this? Well, first off, I wanted to make an orange mead. And secondly, we somehow had an extra bag of eight pounds of Cara Cara or Cara Cara, Cara Cara, Cara Cara oranges. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, anyway, Cara Cara oranges. And there was no way we were going to be able to get through all of those oranges. So I decided I was going to make some mead with it because why not? So the first thing I did was I got my fruit and veggie wash and I washed those oranges very well. I made sure everything that I was going to be working with is was sanitized and ready to go. Once the oranges were clean and sanitized, I put them in a bowl and proceeded to take the zest off of all of those oranges. I believe there were 16 oranges in there. There might've been more than that. Anyway, took a while. So I z took the zest off of all the oranges and I took about half of the zest and put it into a mesh bag to make an orange peel or orange zest tea. I went ahead and put, I don't know, maybe a gallon or so of water uh, on the stove to boil. Once it was boiling, I tossed my orange peels in. I also put in three black tea bags just to add a little bit more tannin and turned the heat down to simmer and put the lid on. I let that steep for, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes, a long time, just because I wanted to get a lot of that orange essence out. So while that was going, I went ahead and I juiced the oranges by hand. Uh, and I took the juice and I froze it. I put it in the freezer. I'm gonna be making a concentrate out of that orange juice and adding it in after this has run dry. So, um, but I did juice all the oranges so we didn't waste the oranges. It took me the full 20, 30 minutes to juice all those oranges and get everything else going. Uh, once the time had passed, I went ahead and I squeezed out the bag just to get all of the essence out of there, took out the tea bags, and I went ahead and added my honey directly to the pot because that's just easier for me. Um, I had six pounds of orange blossom honey, so I tossed that in there along with uh, just raw honey from Costco. I would say I put in about eight and a half pounds total because I didn't get all the honey out of both containers once. And then I stirred all that up uh, until the honey was fully dissolved. And I took a little bit of the hot liquid out and put it into a glass uh, for the go firm. So I added my go firm to the glass. I think it was half a teaspoon and stirred that up, set it aside, let that get going. And while that was going, I went ahead and added cold water to fill this up most of the way and also to cool it off so that I didn't have to wait forever for it to cool. And I shook it up as best I can. I, like I said, I have my little uh, drill attachment to aerate with, but I haven't figured that out. So uh, I did my best to oxygenate this and it, it's been fermenting away. It's been very happy. So I think I did an okay job. <laughs> okay, so once the go firm had cool or cooled off to body temperature ish, I went ahead and put in my yeast, and then I set that aside again and let that get going. I put a full packet of EC one 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 eight eleven eighteen. Might be easier to say. <laughs> anyway, I added that. I set it aside and let that get going. Once that was going, and this felt like it was at a good temperature. I went ahead and pitched the yeast and I swirled it around even more, get a little more oxygen in there, move that yeast in to the must. And yeah, 
that was it. Uh, I made sure I put a label on here. This is just orange mead and the date I started it and it had an OG of 1.090 because I took a gravity reading. So I took a gravity reading and the OG was 1.010. And then I added my bung and airlock and I set this in my closet and I did my regular step feeding schedule, except for this time I did half a teaspoon of Fermade O at the 24 hour, 48 and 36 hour mark. 24, wait, 24, 48, 72. 24, 48, 72. Oh, okay. So I went ahead and added half a teaspoon of Fermade O on the 24, 48, and 72 hour mark. And then I just fed it again today because day seven has arrived. It's still going. Um, could be gases letting off. Um, I'm not gonna do a gravity rating right now. I'm gonna let this go dry. And I have plans. I have plans for this mead. I'm excited. So I'm gonna give this another week to finish fermenting before I move it into three separate gallon carboys. And at that time, I'm going to add different flavors. Um, I'm gonna do an orange creamsicle, uh, spiced orange. I don't know if any anybody out there remembers the friendship tea with Tang. Um, so I'm gonna try to reproduce that, but with, with this. <laughs> Uh, which I'm really excited about. And then the third gallon, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I might just leave it as just plain orange. I was thinking about doing chocolate orange. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear on that one. So I'm going to cut to next week when I rack this. And yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a couple weeks and I'm back and I'm ready to split up my orange mead into three one gallon containers. So we got my three gallon container right here. I only had two of these carboys, so I'm gonna have to use, whoa. I'm not gonna show you because everything's gonna fall over if I grab it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put one of the gallons in a jar, but you'll see. Okay, so I'm back. I have my three one gallon containers with the orange mead in it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a gravity reading. So let's, Let's do that. Might be kind of awkward here, but I'm gonna do it. So it looks like we're at 1.036. So we're not, I'm gonna let this go dry. So hopefully the fermentation isn't stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and put, well, I have airlocks on two of them, but I'm gonna put the lid and an airlock on this one and call it good for now. I'm gonna be doing something different with each gallon. So I will be back with some more videos. I hope this video is useful and I will see you next time. Thank you.